everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I have a tutorial for you guys. Um, I wore this to one of my friend's housewarming parties um, a couple days ago and he really loved it. Um, he's gay though, so yeah. Um, but like I got a whole bunch of compliments by a lot of people so I thought I would do it for you guys. It's more of like my nighttime purple eye. It's not like smoky or anything. It's just a straight up purple. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call this. Maybe like the two layered purple, I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions, leave a comment and I'll definitely probably use one of them. Because um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to name this yet. Um, but anyways, it's pretty much just a two colors by MAC. I did use all MAC in this tutorial. Um, that's mainly because I have had these sitting around and I barely ever use them. So I just wanted to use them that night and since I got so many compliments I thought I would show you guys the look and I love it. Um, anything purple makes anybody's skin tone or eye color. It works for everybody, I'm telling you. So yeah, this is pretty much the look. If you guys want to learn how I did it, please stay tuned and yeah, thank you guys for watching. So I already primed my lid with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Now I'm going to be taking this brush from Urban Decay. It came in the Naked Palette. It's just like a flat concealer brush. And I'm going to be taking Milk uh, from NYX. And I just depotted it. And I wish I didn't, but oh well. And what I'm going to do is put this all over my lid, all the way up to my brow. Because I want this to be as pigmented as possible. So I'm just making a shape with my eye and putting this all the way up into the brow. Just blending it out with my ring finger so it's not going to crease. And you want to blend these NYX pencils out really good because if not, they will crease and get gooky. The color I'm going to be taking is from MAC and it's this purpley color from Parfait. It's called Parfait More and it just looks like this. It's just a lighter violet blue purple, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to be taking the Sigma E60 brush. It just looks like this. It's a flat shader. Applying this all over the lid, patting it, and making it a shape of my eye. Um, everybody has different eye shapes. So just shape it to your eye. So this is what it looks like so far. Um, nothing special, it's just putting the color on and shaping it to my eye. Then I'm going to be taking the E45 from Sigma. It's supposed to be a small tapered blending brush, but mine has not been tapered for a very long time. It just goes to this crazy shape. So what I'm going to do is just blend this out lightly. So we have a crease starting, and it's not so harsh. Second purple that I will be using for this look is Fig One. It's just a matte dark purple. It is like amazing, and they're supposed to be discontinuing matte square eyeshadows, matte two eyeshadows, whatever you want to say. Um, and I hope not. I'm about to buy extras. I don't really have a lot of MAC eyeshadows, but I love this. Um, so I'm going to be taking with the same brush uh, the E60 that we used for the first purple and just flipping it over to the other side patting this on there and since it is matte you want to flick off the excess and pat that right over the same over that color the reason that I didn't just use the fig one by itself is because I don't want it to be a hundred percent matte I want a little bit of shimmer but if you want it matte just use the fig one and you don't, if you don't have any MAC eyeshadows and you don't want to spend the money on them, you can use pretty much any purple. It'll still create almost the same look. I just wanted to start using my purpley shades that I bought. And taking that same blending brush, brush the E45, and blending this out.
now for MAC, I'm going to be taking Wedge, which is just a light brown matte color, just to blend the rest of this out so it won't get like crazy with our highlight that we will be putting on. So just blend that above everything else you just blended. Now taking the E20 from Sigma, it is just a short shader brush, but I use it to pack on color to the lower lid. I'm dipping it into the Parfait Amore and into the Fig One, tapping it off and putting this on the lower lash line about halfway through. For a highlight, I'm going to be taking Blank Type from MAC. It is coming off more white in the camera, but it is actually just a skin tone color. And I'm taking an e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush and just putting it as my highlight. And into the inner corner. And if you don't have this or don't want to buy this, a good dupe for that is Max Brulee. And I'm just going to be wiping off my E45, which is the blending brush from Sigma. And then just lightly blending out the highlight so it's not so harsh and stuff. For the inner corner, I'm going to be just taking a white eye pencil and putting this in the inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit since this is a darker look. And a little bit down into the lash line like that. And just blending it out with my ring finger. Now taking a q-tip, I'm going to be getting rid of this blob we have over here so it's more sharper and prettier. Um, you can use your saliva, I know it sounds sick, but you can use your saliva or an eye makeup remover. You want to go from the outer corner of your eye and then up to your brow. And it might smudge a little bit, so just take the other side of the q-tip and wipe. Because I don't like the super sharp look, um, I don't know, I just think it looks funny on me. I'm going to take the E45 again and just lightly blend this out. It will still be sharp, but it just won't be as harsh. I'm going to go apply eyeliner and mascara, and I will be back to tell you guys what I use. Okay, so I've applied my eyeliner, mascara, and my lip color. Um, what I usually use to get the shape that I want of my uh, gel eyeliner is I use the Wet n Wild Mega Eyes Defining Marker and it just looks like this and then it has like the little felt tip applicator. Um, it doesn't come on too pigmented so I barely ever use this um, just by itself but I use that to help guide me um, with the gel eyeliner. And then I use the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in Blackest Black. And it just looks like this. Um, this is like so old. Like I probably shouldn't even be using it, but it's still super creamy, so I don't know. Um, and then on top of that, I used Carbon by MAC just to set it. Um, I'm not going to show you guys because I'm sure you guys have all seen that. Um, for the waterline, I use my Sephora Nano Eyeliner in Midnight Black. For mascara, I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black, and this is like super old too, but I barely ever used it um, because I was waiting for it to get thicker, and then I found another mascara that I liked, so I just quit using it, but for a more dramatic look, I use this, um, so that's what I use today. And for my lip color, I use the e.l.f. Conditioning Lip Balm, SPF 15 in Nice and Natural, which is super pretty. I love this. Super creamy, not sticky whatsoever. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this, and this is the finished look. So yeah, if you guys have any tutorial requests, please let me know. Um, I really just... 
mainly do neutrals um, on an everyday basis, but I would love to do any type of tutorial that you guys request. So if you guys have any requests, leave them down below or send me a message here on YouTube and I will definitely write it down and do it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.